Hi guys, this is you. How's everyone doing today? So today I'm going over how being courageous or being confident does not necessarily mean not feeling any fear or being scared. Okay. Fear is a natural emotion that's going to come from our brains. Now, it does stem from the subconscious. Now, there's things that you can do in the long term to alter your subconscious, to lower your fear, right? But what I'm talking about is that there is always going to be some fear that pops up. Now, and if you try to run away from that fear or just the concept of fear, you're actually going to be have fear of fear, which is going to turn into a whole disaster. Now, knowing that fear is always going to pop up, true courage or true confidence. There's actually a quote where it's like, I think it's like courage is not. Courage is not in the absence of fear or something like that, but true courage or true confidence, they kind of go hand in hand. OK, means that despite feeling fear, you are still able to be yourself. Now, this does not mean when you feel fear, you swing to the other extreme. Let me clarify. I made a video about cockiness versus confidence a while back. It was a really good video you should watch. So sometimes when we get scared, we tend to shy away or something, right? We, we tend to go off this way. But sometimes to counteract that, our ego likes to jump to the other extreme. Okay? So, which is cockiness. So it's either insecurity in the sense of shyness or being taken advantage of or something like that. Or insecurity in the sense of cockiness or overconfidence, things of that nature, okay? However, true confidence or true courage is being grounded and I'm not going to say following your path, but doing whatever it is you feel that's actually best, even if you're feeling fear. It's acknowledging that, yes, the fear is coming as an emotion and it'll go, and it's not controlling my actions, OK, so I'm not going to let it overwhelm me and I'm not going to try to stuff it down. I'm just going to observe the fear. OK, now these fears can also allow you to act a little bit more grounded. Sometimes we have this negative connotation of emotions, which is not true. These emotions come for a certain reason. They come from our subconscious. So you need to realize and analyze why they come. If you are scared when you walk into a room full of people, why, right? If you're feeling anxiety, are you scared? Maybe you might be fat and you think everyone's judging you because you're fat. And that's like something you need to handle, right? This is not a bad thing that you're feeling fear. It's just an acknowledgement that, hey, I have this judgment about myself. or I have this fear about myself. Let me accept it and let me work on it or something like that, right? This is not necessarily a bad thing. We want to always be ignorant and pretend everything's good, but that's not necessarily the case. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being overweight or something like that, but if it's happening internally for you, maybe you want to work on it, okay? Um, so whenever situations like this happen, uh, or let's just say you walk into a room full of people and you feel fear out of embarrassment that you make less money than everybody. Okay, so another example. Or that everyone else has success in dating and you don't. Okay. Um, these are fears that you're going to want to accept. However, the real courage, the real confidence is accepting the fears and not letting them control you. And even when you do feel fear, yeah, basically just how, how do you continue to act groundedly and wow, when fear comes up, you, you accept your fears, right? You just accept them. You don't let them control you. That's all you can really do. If you try to fight them or you try to do things to justify why the fear is invalid and things like that, 
these can be good on a very temporary basis, but in the long, long term, these are going to be completely fruitless. Okay. So yeah, true courage, true confidence is that when fear comes, you accept them. Okay. And the better you get at accepting them, like just on your own time, right? Because you're not going to be able to accept them in a very, you know, high intensity moment, right? You might have to go home and accept it afterwards. When these moments do happen, you'll be able to accept them more. Okay, which is the goal. You want to be able to accept them on demand. But in order to do that, you have to practice, right? Practice makes perfect. Okay, usually we apply that to, you know, physical things, right? Like sports or something like that. But it also works for things like this. If you have an overwhelming amount of fear in regards to, to something, you've practiced having an overwhelming amount of fear in regards to that thing. You've either practiced judging yourself or attaching to some kind of fear or something like that. So now you just need to practice accepting your fear or accepting your judgments or doing whatever you need to do. Okay, that's and then that's how you can really be courageous or confident because at the end of the day, you're, you're to, to an extent, your actions define your character. Now, I'm not saying your past actions, okay? I'm saying who you are right now, okay? So if someone's acting a certain way, it's because of their subconscious somehow, right? Like you can tell if someone's pretty confident or not, okay? And you can tell if someone's faking it or not, okay? So your actions are coming from your subconscious. So, and everybody feels a little bit of fear to an extent. So if you want to behave and be a confident, courageous person, do confident and courageous things, say confident and courageous things, things like that. How this starts, first, by practicing accepting whatever you need to in your brain to, in the subconscious to lower your fear. And secondly, practice when fear comes up to not let it overwhelm you and to act appropriately, right? Just because you think or feel certain things does not give you the right to do certain things, right? If you feel scared that you're not going to have any money in life, that doesn't mean that you go and, you know, take money in from somebody else. Or if you feel scared that you're going to be lonely for the rest of your life, that doesn't mean that you act out of fear and go make some bad decision with somebody else, right? This doesn't, right? You, the, the emotions and the thoughts are always going to be there a little bit, okay? There's, like I said, so the first part is working on those, but the second part is even when they come up, you breathe, you get grounded, okay? You connect back with your consciousness and you act appropriately, okay? You do not let your thoughts and emotions define your actions. Now, but here's the thing. If you don't work on the first part, which is accepting, you're just going to jump to the other extreme and have overconfidence, right? Um, that, for example, let's just say the person, the people thing, right? If you're scared of being lonely and nobody wants you and unvalidated and stuff like that. If you just... If you don't do any of this stuff, you probably will just be lonely and everything for the rest of your life, right? If you only do the first part, which is accepting, you will accept and the fears will go down, but at the end of the day, you might not get what you want, okay? And if you only do the second part, which is just working on the fear whenever it comes up, but you don't do the accepting part, you're going to have the overconfidence, which is probably going to lead to you performing or certain actions or saying certain things that are out of overconfidence and are not truly who you are. And most likely these are bad decisions. Okay. So yeah, that's the end of that video. So acceptance to lower your fears, right? Cause we're all human. We can only handle so much. And whenever fears do come up, learn how to act in a grounded manner and learn to observe your thoughts and emotions. Okay. So that we can still act appropriately because our actions at the end of the day I mean, to the rest of everybody else, do define us, right? You don't want to act like a fool all the time. Okay, so I think that's the end of this video. If you have any questions or comments, you can feel free to let me know. And until next time, I'll talk to everyone later. Thank you all very, very much for watching.